In this video, I'm going to show you how to use import range to share parts of your data and not all of your data. So the first thing I want to do is copy the URL and then create a new sheet that will be shared publicly. I'll call this public sheet and then start my formula equals import range. And then I'll open my parentheses and start adding my criteria. The first criteria is the URL and you want to start that off with a quotation mark and then paste the URL, close quotation mark, and then a comma. The next criteria is the sheet name. So I'll go back to the original sheet and you can see that the sheet name is March. Quotation, March. And then to let Google Sheets know that this is a sheet name, you want to add an exclamation point. Next, you want to add the rows that you want to show. So the rows I want to show is E through F. So we'll add over here E through colon F. Close quotation marks and close parentheses. Hit enter. And then let's click on this to see what's going on here. It says you need to connect these sheets. So click allow access. And now I have rows E and F from my main sheet to be publicly shared on columns A through B. The last thing you want to do is share this sheet. And there's a special way to share it. Right now the sheet's private only to me. We want to change the privacy settings so that anyone with the link can view. You don't want others to edit because then they can change the formula and add columns. If you give them view access, they won't be able to change this formula and they'll only be able to see E through F. And that's it.